Welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute devotional podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, broadcast from the ever-beautiful Sharonville, Ohio, on the sunny side of Cincinnati. Hey there, friends. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio here in the Bible Bistro. Today we're looking at Psalm 131, 2a. Now, I've tried to divide these up since we only have three verses, and of course I broadcast five minutes a day, five days a week, studying the Psalms verse by verse, but we can't do five verses because we only have three. So I'm dividing it up, and it's easier this way anyhow. It makes it um, makes us dig down a little bit deeper, you know, I think. So Monday was 1A, yesterday was 1B, today is 2A, tomorrow will be 2B, and then we'll do the entire third verse. What a what a banquet we'll have on Friday with his call to action there in verse 3. This is a song of ascent. It is of David, possibly written at the time when he brought in the ark, and Michael, his queen, decided that he was behaving foolishly, and David said, I will be, I will be, be even more base in my in mine eyes than thus. So, humility is the key word here. We're looking at humility. He says there in verse one, "I my heart is not haughty, my eyes are not lofty. I do not exercise myself in great matters of things too high for me." And then today we come to verse two. Surely I have behaved and quieted myself as a child that is weaned of his mother. All right, so I think before we can continue, we probably ought to discover what exactly is meant by weaning. I, fin- I went and found my Tabor's medical dictionary, and Tabor says that to wean means to, a- to accustom an infant to discontinuation of breast milk by substitution of other nourishment. He says that I have behaved and quieted myself as a child that is weaned of his mother. So the child is weaned or taken off the breast, and now he's not going to get the milk. He wants the milk, and if you were to allow him, he would be after the milk all the time, right? He would be he would never give that up because that's all he knows or she. That's all the child knows. So to get them off the breast milk so that they can replace that with solid food and begin them on the course of solid food, you begin restricting the milk so that their hunger will drive them to the other source. And you'll notice he says, I have behaved and quieted myself. So the child that is denied the breast milk, what what are they going to do? Well, they're going to cry, and they're going to cry, and they're going to cry, but eventually they will be comforted by their mother and trust the mother's hand. So the mother is weaned the child, that is, restricted the breast milk from the child. Now the child revolts against that. I want the breast milk, but the mother knows best. And so eventually the child calms down and accepts the new form of nourishment, whatever it might be, you know, the the baby food, the puree, the, the soft food that they're able to palate, and quiets themselves because they trust in their mother. So even though the mother takes something away, the mother's intention is to do better for the child so that the child can grow. You can't stay on breast milk. You have to eventually learn to eat solid food. And we're geared that way. The child doesn't know it, and the child revolts against it. But eventually, the child begins to quiet themselves and trust in the mother's hand. So a child that is weaned to the mother, this is what is happening. And so he compares himself to that. I'm not prideful. I'm not haughty. I'm not involved in great matters. As a matter of fact, I'm more like a child because you have taken things from me so that I can trust in you. I'm learning now to trust, to be quiet, and to wait on the Lord. This is a good psalm. And so we're going to see more about this tomorrow, and I hope you'll join me then on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. I'm David Smith. The music today has been performed by the Bluegrass Experiment. Thanks again for listening. I'll see you next time on Daily Dose Radio.